Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. So this gay guy named Peanut, he came through maybe around 2014. So he came through and now at this time, y'all, we was in a dorm setting. So in a dorm setting, you got bunk beds. And in this dorm, it was primarily whites and blacks. And we had a little bit of Mexicans, but they was neutrons. So when he came through, you know, we like, we see him and, you know, he looking over at our area because he have to come over here with the blacks. So we all like, man, he ain't coming over here. Like he ain't. Now I had a bunk that was open. My top bunk was open and my homeboy Carlos, his top bunk was open and homicide. Well, we ain't even going to discuss hom homicide because he, he of, of all of us, he just made it known. See, homicide was homophobic and he just was, he was just one of them dudes that was no nonsense. Me, I was more lenient, but at the same time, this is prison. Now, let, let me get this clear. Dante is not homophobic. However, I done explained this to y'all millions and millions of times. In prison, in prison, birds of a feather flock together you are guilty by association so with that being said if you are a straight man like myself you cannot be in a cell you cannot be bunk mates right with a homosexual because people gonna start spreading rumors people gonna lie on you and it's it's just a big headache okay so anyway, so we see Peanut with all this stuff and he just like there, he right by the door. Now, I'm assuming Peanut been locked up before. So he just looking and, you know, it's like the whole, listen, listen. When a homosexual come in there, like a known one, like that you can just tell, like this is how this person rock and roll. It's like the whole dorm get quiet. Now, I don't know, is it because... You know, these, it piques some dude's curiosity. I don't know. Is it because, you know, some of these cats probably been locked up with Peanut before and they trying to make sure that Peanut, you know, if they messed around with Peanut, you know what I'm saying? They might not want to get put on blast or whatever the case may be. But everybody is quiet and whispering and at this time, Peanut just standing there. And so Peanut go directly in the middle of the dorm, right? And was like, listen up. Yeah, I'm gay and I'm here. And ain't nobody going to try to take nothing from me or do nothing to me because I'm the baddest bee of all bees. So we just looking like, man, what the heck? So Peanut was like, and I know y'all, I know what y'all are thinking. I don't want none of y'all in here anyway, but I am going to sleep somewhere. I'm, I'm going to sleep somewhere. I'm not sleeping on no floor. So whoever got to give up their bed, like I said, I'm not looking at none of y'all. I don't want none of y'all up in here. I got a man already. So we like, man, what the heck? So you hear dudes like yelling in the distance like, man, hey, man, that punk ain't coming over here. I don't, I don't give a F what he said. I don't give a F what he said. That punk ain't coming over here. So Peanut hearing this like, yeah, all right. All right. Yeah, we going to see. We going to see. So Peanut goes back to the door and bang on the door. Now, it's back to business as usual. So Tar T was like, well, Dante, hey, you, your bunk open, man. Peanut going to have to go over there with you. I said, nothing like hell. No, he ain't. No, he ain't. So... So um, the guards come in like two minutes later. I guess Peanut went over there and told them like, ain't nobody trying to give up their bunk. And you know what I'm saying? And there's empty bunks and he he ain't sleeping on the floor. So the guard came in there like, hey, hey, whoever ain't got, whoever um, got an empty bunk, man, move your stuff so so this cat can get up there. Ain't nobody doing that. So he like, so y'all so y'all just act like y'all ain't hear me, right? 
So then he leaves out. So Peanut come right over there in our area, and he like, can I, can I? He, he look right at me. He like, can, can I get up there? I was like, nah. Um, there's somebody. There's somebody bunk. I'm actually holding their stuff up there. So he looked me up and down. Was like, mm. and then he walk off. So then he go to my homeboy Carlos, and was like, is anybody sleeping there? And Carlo was like, yeah, somebody, somebody is sleeping there. Actually, they in the shower right now. He was like, okay, I see what y'all are doing. So then he go to a, a to a different section with other guys and asking them. They're like, nah, man, gone. So Peanut over there arguing with some dude. So he like, okay, all right, hit me then. Hit me then. Now, let me tell y'all something. Back in, I guess all this stuff really started popping off where, you know, gay guys start getting rights in there. And if you put your hand on a gay guy, you know, that is a enhancement charge, meaning you will get extra time for a hate crime for putting your hands on a gay guy, especially if they try to make it seem like you only put hands on them because, you know, they, they gay. So Peanut knew that if Peanut would put up Peanut would take that to his full advantage, but he knew how far he could go with that, right? So he over there arguing with some dude, and he like, oh, you going to hit me? You going to hit me? I wish you would hit me. I wish you would hit me. So the dude was like, man, move, man. Move around, right? So Peanut ended up going back, banging on the door like, hey, y'all need to put me somewhere safe. I don't feel safe in here. They not letting me get no bunk. I'm not, I'm not about to be going through none of that up in here. Uh-uh. Y'all need to get me out of here. So eventually the captain come in there and he like, hey, listen, if anybody got an empty bunk, y'all need to give it up. Get if 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 y'all got an empty now, don't make me have to come through there and figure out who got an empty bunk. Cause the first one that I see that got an empty bunk, that's where he going. Y'all are grown men. If y'all don't like how this dude is, then stay out of prison. But ain't, ain't nobody running nothing in here but me. So like I said, either somebody going to volunteer for him to get to sleep in wherever bed or, I, or the first one that I see, he's getting it. So I'm looking at the dynamics of the pie and I'm like, okay, if he start over here from the left, which he probably is, it's going to be my bunk. It's, it's going to be my bunk. So I'm like, okay, if he go over there to the right, then okay, there's going to be somebody else. But if he is most definitely, he's definitely going to have to get on my bunk if, if the captain comes on my side. So I'm like, damn. So I'm like, all right, man. So then I'm like, hey, man, hey, man, if somebody don't, you know, he, he going to have to come over here. So they like, well, hey, it's, that's on you. If he got to come over here, then that, that's just on you. So the captain like, so ain't nobody going to say nothing. All right, bet. So he like, come on. So he's walking, and sure enough, he hit my aisle. And bam, right there. He walked right up to me. He was like, um, somebody sleeping up here? Just the captain talking to me. I'm like, nah, ain't nobody sleeping up there. He like, all right, well, I need for the, I need for you to move your stuff because he going up there. Now, I'm going to tell y'all right now, again, Dante is not homophobic. In fact, I actually got a gay cousin. I got a gay cousin, uh, actually a gay dude cousin, and I got a gay stud cousin also. You know, I love them to death. They, they real cool. And outside of them, you know, gay guys, they funny to me. You know, I, I have no issue with them. They never done anything to me for me to hate them okay so let me just get that out the way but like i said in prison in prison you cannot associate with them type of people because like i said you would think you know if you ain't never been locked up before and anybody that been in jail or prison for a long time not even a long time you will understand that men gossip way worse than women men gossip again they gossip way worse than women you would think that because you in prison that men would keep to a certain code and be more manly but no it ain't it ain't nothing but a bunch of gossiping women up in prison and anybody could tell you that they always say oh you gotta mind your business uh, yeah okay it's dudes in there that make it their business to mind other people business 
So anyway, I I didn't book because I didn't, you know, we had a good situation there. You know what I'm saying? We we could be on the phones all day. They they cut the phones off at 11 o'clock. They cut them on at nine in the morning. It was a good setup and I wasn't about to book. And booking mean that I was going to bark on the captain, get my ass whipped and put in a hole. So if I, re, you, you know what I'm saying? If I told her like, nah, he can't go up there. So I'm like, all right. So I tell Tar T to help me, you know, grab my stuff from up there so I can put it under my bed in my locker, right? So we moving our stuff in. Peanut standing there with his arms crossed, like, mm, like with his lips poked out, like, mm. and he just kept saying, mm. so I'm like, I'm like, you all right, man? He was like, nah, you told me earlier that somebody, this was somebody bunk. I'm like, all right, man, here we go. Well, I said, well, I made a mistake. He said, oh yeah, I bet you, you did. So I'm like, all right, listen, man, is you going to get up there? What? So the captain was like, Hey, let me tell y'all something. We ain't going to have no problems. Is we? And I'm like, I don't know. Is we? I'm talking to Peanut at this time. Peanut was like, he he got he got real sassy. So he put his arm like his hands on his hips and was like, I don't know. Is we gonna have a problem? Cause like I said, I don't I don't even know why y'all even put me in here. I told y'all I don't even feel safe around these criminals. So I'm like, ain't that a B? Like you a criminal too? What what did you even do to get in here? This is what I'm saying to myself. So I'm like, anyway. So Peanut just jump up there. And he, he like, hey, I hope you don't be farting in your sleep. And, you know, like I said, I ain't nobody. And he actually, he's looking across the way at my homeboy, Clayvon. And he looking at him like, so, and, and like I said, like, I don't want none of y'all anyway. Like I, like I said, I got me a man. So I don't know what y'all dudes over here trying to say stuff about me. And Clayvon was like, man, ain't nobody said nothing about you, man. Man, man, just move around. So he was like, like I said, and I'm going to say it again. I don't want none of y'all up in here. Can't none of y'all do nothing for me. I got a man. So, so we like, all right, man, whatever. So we talking. Now, he up there reading something, right? So every Tuesday, we do Bible study. Me and my homeboys and anybody that, you know, want to hear Dante talk about the Bible, you know, they come over there around my area. So it's actually a Tuesday where this going on, where Peanut came through, when Peanut got at the top. So it's about, uh, I'm going to say about 15 of us right there. And I'm sitting on my bed. Tortis is sitting at the edge of my bed and Al sitting like right by me. And everybody else just crowded around, right? So Peanut is up there. So I'm telling this Bible story about Sodom and Gomorrah, unfortunately. So as I'm telling the story, you hear Peanut up there like, like smack like, yeah, I know he talked. He just saying little stuff and I wasn't even trying to offend him. You know what I'm saying? Cause we all know about the, the story about Sodom and Gomorrah. So I guess when I, when I got to the part, when I was talking about how like the men of the town came and was banging on lot door, like, Hey, Tell them, tell them dudes to come outside so we can have sex with them. That's when, you know, dudes was like, dudes was like saying slick stuff towards, you know, about the situation. And Peanut was like, yeah, I bet y'all would try to do that to me. I wish one of y'all would do that to me. So, yeah, yeah, that's the type of time Peanut was on. So it came from a Bible study to a full-blown argument between Peanut and some of the guys right there. Because Peanut felt like they was targeting him, which they was. But uh, like I said, I already told the guys we was going to be talking about Sodom and Gomorrah anyway. But unfortunately, Peanut was just there for the... Uh, he just rolled in on a Tuesday, and that was going to be the subject. So Peanut getting into it with them. You know, Peanut saying some real foul, vulgar stuff. And when I, I cannot say the stuff that he was saying here on social media, I'm, they might try to strike this video or something. They might try to take the video down, but the things that peanut was saying to some of these guys, they was fighting words and it, it peanut was violating these dudes. Now I'm going to tell y'all something. The reason why 
well, well, let me get, I, I'll give y'all a little sneak peek. Basically, Peanut was saying stuff like, yeah, if I catch you in a shower, I'm going to do something to you, basically. And he ain't talking about um, playing, giving high fives. He's talking about getting behind somebody and doing something to him, like a violation. And that was the type of rhetoric he was saying. He was saying like some real nasty type stuff. And the only reason why dudes didn't go hands on on Peanut was number one, everybody that was there was doing less than 10 years. Like the prison we was at, you had either one year in a day to do up to 10 years. So this was a level one. Didn't nobody want to really, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to get into too much trouble and you can't go home. You got to get, you know, shipped to a level two or a level three, especially for putting your hands on a gay guy. You get a enhancement charge of, of a hate crime. You know what I mean? So mainly it's this word play, this war words going back and forth. But Peanut was really saying some vicious stuff, like saying some, he, he says some real violation type stuff, right? So anyway, um, it, it, it got hectic. Peanut was just saying some real bad foul language. They were saying some messed up stuff. And, you know, one thing about it, you, you don't argue with a gay guy. You, you just don't you, because it's like you can't win because as a straight man, what could you say to a guy that says that he would basically knock you out and put his tongue in your butt? You know what I'm saying? What, what could you say after that besides go hands on with him and get you a hate charge? You know what I'm saying? Like what? How can you how can you fight with? You know what I'm saying? So it did, it did. This will make matters worse. One of the worst things that could, that you can do in prison is get into a fight with a gay guy and you lose. I don't seen that happen to him. But Peanut, Peanut was a skinny guy. He 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 looked like he had no hands. At best, Peanut looked like he might smack the heck out of you. But you know, anyway. So I'm telling everybody, like, okay, y'all, that's it, man. We, that's Bible study over. It's over. It's done. Right? So everybody getting up, they walking off, they leaving, talking junk, peanuts, steady saying stuff. That's it. So now it's time for, you know, the guards say, all right, y'all, it's, it's last time for showers or whatever. Peanut hops up. Now, this is how this is supposed to go. They got, okay, so when you go in the shower, right, when you go in, I, I got to, let me describe to y'all how the shower in the bathroom is. When you first go in, right, it's a it's like an open wall that you go into. And right there, you when you go to the left, there's a row of sinks right there. And behind them sinks is a shower right to the left. And it's the same thing opposite on the other side, right? So now when you get, when you go in there, on the left side is for the white guys and for the right side is for the black guys. Now, when it's shower time, dudes be basically lined up to get in that shower, right? Cause you got dudes in there working now. You got dudes coming from the yard. You got dudes that just smelly or whatever. And they just want to get in the shower. And we, we got about an hour. So you're supposed to jump in and jump out, right? Don't be, and that's another thing. I'm finna answer a question that people be asking me about dudes dropping the soap. First of all, if you gonna get in, if, listen, you should not be worried about who's dropping the soap. Get your tail in the shower, wash up, rinse off, and get out. You ain't got time to be looking around, worrying about if somebody looking at you. You know what I'm saying? Get your tail in the shower, Lavender up, get the soap off your body, and get out. That's it. If you do drop your soap for whatever reason while you're in that prison shower, just let it stay there. Let it stay there because, believe me, it's some ungodly things that be going on in that shower that be hitting the flow. And um, you don't want to pick that bar of soap up. Just leave it there, okay? So anyway, back to the story. So Peanut... 
he basically skips the line. And he he like, I know don't none of y'all want to shower with me. So dude's like, hey man, what you doing? You can't hey, you can't do that, man. You can't skip the line. He like, hey, no, don't none of y'all want to shower with me anyway. So I'm finna go in here anyway. So he just skipped the line. And like I said, Peanut knew that if anybody touched him, what time it was gonna be. So he just skipped the line and he just gone up in there. Now, I don't know what happened in the prison shower. I, I don't know what happened, okay? But I was maybe number nine in the line to go get in the shower. So we are standing up there lined up to get in there. So it's about maybe 30 of us in this line. I'm like number nine to get in there. And Peanut done walked past us all. And, you know, dudes complain like, yo, what are you doing? So Peanut goes in there. When Peanut goes in there, now listen. When you, this is prison etiquette for you. When you get in that, when you go take a shower, you do not strip all the way butt booty naked. You do not do that. When you get in that shower, you should have your tr you should have your boxes on, okay? Have your boxes on. Don't go in there stripping butt ass naked, okay? So Peanut, I'm assuming, goes in there and strip butt naked and take a shower. Dude, all I hear, hey, hey, man, what you doing? Hey, and you just hear this ruckus going on in there. And you see dudes walking out like, man, oh, hell, so, man, that dude in there naked, right? So all I think, I don't see Peanut coming out. So I'm like, man, all right, man. So dudes coming out, they hollering. They like, man, hey, man, this dude in there naked. And, man, who does that and all this and that, right? So I guess Peanut figured he'd just get the shower to himself. So... Peanut comes out the bathroom, right? Now, okay, how can I put this? All right, y'all. Y'all got to forgive me. But do me a favor, y'all. Before I even go on, I need for y'all to hit the like button for me right quick. Just hit the like button for your partner, Dante. Peanut comes out the bathroom, right? Peanut got his towel, his dry-off towel, on his neck you know like when you get done sweating or whatever you put your towel over your neck you know to cool your you cool your neck off peanut comes out of there with the towel on his neck right and he's butt ass naked just walk right out everybody erupted everybody like yo what the f Man, what is you doing? Hey, hey, man, you can't do that. Peanut just struts right in front of everybody and just walk. And I'm like, oh, my God, man. And this dude sleeping in my... I said, y'all, this y'all, this ain't going to... Everybody wilding out. Peanut is literally walking through the peanut gallery naked, butt naked. You do not supposed to... And I, I get it. This is prison, and men are supposed to be men, but... It's like an unwritten law that when you in a dorm, you do not walk around naked. You just don't do that. No, it's not a prison rule, but, you know, the administration didn't pass the rule. But us, this, you need to have some type of decency, some type of etiquette. I know we criminals and felons, but God dang, man, you have you have no guile about yourself. Nothing. So he just walking through. Just, just naked, N naked as a bird, just walking through. So dudes like, yo, hey, hey, man, what you doing? And he just dare, and I'm like, man, he can't. I, nah, it, this ain't gonna work. Th then this dude got to sleep over me, man. So I'm like, man, forget this. So I instantly go to the door. Now, now the guards are not in there. They outside the door at a desk. So I'm like, no, I, I got to put an end to this because there's no way this dude going to be sleeping, sleeping over me, man. That That's just not happening. So I get out of line and I go to the door and I'm banging on the door. There's other guys over there too banging on the door like, yo, hey, man, you got to get this dude up out of here. So the guard come over there. He like, what's going on? And they like, hey, man, this dude walking around here naked, man. This, this dude, he just doing the most, man. He causing problems up in here. 
So the girl like, what I supposed to do? We, we like, move him, man. And he, they like, did, did he do anything to any yard? No, but man, he just, he he just he just causing issues in here, man. He he cannot be in here. So the girl like, man, hey, I don't know what to tell y'all. Y'all, hey, y'all y'all grown ups. Y'all grown ups. Y'all whatever y'all did to get in here, y'all just got to deal with it. So he he about to close the door, and I grabbed him. I'm like, hey man, listen, could, could y'all at least could y'all please move him? Cause he he's sleeping in my bed, and he he gonna cause probably the girl like, hey, listen, Dante, listen, I I don't know what to tell you, man. He the, the captain assigned him to that bed. I'm like, I know, but but he can't be, dude can't be here, man. I don't I, I then you hear, don't you put your hands on me? Don't put your hands on me no more. Peanut is over there getting into it with somebody. So the guard hurry up and come in and he like, hey, what's going on? What's going on? Peanut just got slapped by this white guy that's over here. So Peanut done made his way over to the white section. Now listen, it, it where we was at, it wasn't segregated, but people... You know what I'm saying? The whites could talk to the blacks and do business. It, it, it wasn't that. We on the East Coast. It's not the West Coast. But it's not polite to, you know, just be walking through the aisles like that. Especially if this ain't your section. But even, even but what make matters worse, Peanut was butt naked. Just walking. In, I don't know where Peanut came from. I don't know that he come from a special. I don't know. But how Peanut was programming, I just he just felt like he just could just do these things. So he's literally walking naked through there, and a white guy popped off on him and smacked him and told him, like, yo, get up out of here. And so Peanut ain't backing down when he causing the scene, and it just got real chaotic. And the guard got on a walkie-talkie. He was like, you know, the captain came in, was like, hey, hey, come on. He told the, the white guy to roll it up. Let's go and told Peanut, let's go. And that saved me some grief because I know me and Peanut would eventually got into it because Peanut was real sassy. And Peanut just, I don't think he wanted to be in that dorm anyway. I think Peanut did all that, all that stuff just to get put out anyway to be with his man. Because like he said, he had a man in a prison. So I'm assuming he was just being extra so he could get, get out of there and be with his man. So... Anyway, um, the moral of this story is it's a couple of things. One of the main things is that you ain't, it's one of the things that the guard said to us. Don't commit crimes and you won't have to deal with this foolishness. Don't commit crimes and you don't have to deal with the day-to-day -day prison stuff where you got dudes like Peanut walking through here butt naked. You know what I mean? You ain't got to deal with you in the shower and a gay guy come in there and strip butt naked and you get ran out of the dang um, shower. You know what I mean? So that's one of the, that's one of the, you know, morals of this story is don't commit crime. So you ain't got to be subjugated to this type of behavior. And the other moral of this story is that, like I said, I'm not homophobic. There's a misconception out there that, oh, Dante don't like gay people. That's furthest from the truth, okay? Like I said, it's not that I don't like gay people. I have no issue with gay people, right? Because what they do in a bedroom is what they do in a bedroom. That has nothing to do with me. In fact, um, you know, I, like I said, I got, I got gay cousins, so there's no way I can, you know, hate gay people. You know, there's people that I dislike, of course, but they have to do something to me for me to dislike them. Peanut was a person that I disliked because he was he was doing too much. He was being real extra. And I bring up that to say, you know, I got gay cousins that they don't be extra. They don't be doing the most. And we good. So anyway, if y'all enjoyed this story, I want y'all to hit the like button for me. Also, let me know where y'all are from. Put your area code in the comment section. And with that, y'all, I'm out. 
Hey, if y'all can appreciate some beautiful artwork, especially resin artwork, look no further. My girl Shay, she is out cold with this resin work. She can make stuff for your man cave. She can make stuff for your woman cave. Whatever the occasion is, she got you. Matter of fact, this is her Instagram page right here. Y'all go check her out. I'm going to leave her link in the comment section. Go check her out. If you want me to promote your business, your products, or your social media channels, make sure you contact me at the number that y'all see on the screen. Also, this is the new official cash app for the Dante Show Network. If you want to be a part of the growth of the Dante Show Network, make sure you lean on the cash app. I don't care if you donate a dollar or $10,000, it is all appreciated. Also, I have three other channels that you may or may not ever heard of. I'm going to have the link to them three channels pinned at the top of the comment section. As well as my contact number and the link to the official cash app. Also, if you want to get access to my exclusive videos, make sure you become a member. I'm going to have the link to the members only videos pinned at the top of the comment section. Okay, y'all, we need to raise $10,000 for the next project, okay? If you want to donate to the Dante Show Network, make sure y'all bless the cash app or put something in the PayPal. I know y'all wondering, like, Dante, what type of shirt you got on? Listen, my homeboy, Sobe Spochi, man, he got a merch store that I copped this from, man. When I say this shirt feels so good on my body, Listen, it's about 85 degrees in this room that I'm in right now in my studio. And this shirt is so breathable, it make, it, it feel real good, y'all. So make sure y'all check out the link in the comment section also to his store. Go check out his merch. This is the new cash app right here. Do not send no more money to the Dante Show with the three W's. This is the one right here. So y'all make sure y'all lock this one in. Listen. YouTube is playing military mind games. They not sending out my notifications. So I need for y'all to text this number that y'all see on the screen so Dante can give y'all a personal text to let y'all know when I drop a new video or when I go live. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again.